Hello, my name's Denise Pepper and I'm here at NCH Trafford to investigate the Genie Project. Hi Claire, could you explain who you are? I'm Claire Johnson and my job is a development worker with deaf people in Trafford and I'm based here at NCH at the Jeff Trafford Genie Project. Can you tell me how the Genie Project started? Well in 1996 a deaf lady called Jeannie Robinson, she lived in Trafford and when she died the money that she left in a will she left some to Trafford deaf people. And that was given to Trafford Council and they agreed with NCH that they would fund a project. And the project was going to be called the Genie Project. I mean, it's spelt G-E-N-I-E. -E. This is a sign that we use because the funding which we received in 1996 was not released until 2005, January 2005. So that meant that the project started from then. What services do you provide? Well, the Genie Project concentrates on three main areas. Firstly, children and families. It could be families that either have a deaf child with hearing parents or maybe a family that have got deaf parents with a hearing child. The Genie Project supports the families with anything that they need. Uh, we can assess them on numerous things and we work together with the families. The second part of the Genie Project is to support deaf adults. It could be issues such as access to careers, college and various other issues. Maybe the deaf person feels lonely and wants to take part in the groups that we have. Right, the first group that we've got is the 50 plus group, then we've got a parents group and then we have a ladies night. The 50 plus group, any deaf people over the age of 50 can attend to have a chat, meet others and receive information. Sometimes speakers come along and they can have a chat with them. Then we've got the parents group. That's very similar but through the holiday times they might organise children's days out and it's an opportunity for parents to meet other deaf parents to have a chat. Then we have the ladies night. The most popular thing for that is the beauty treatments, manicuring, facials and these beauty therapists come along and the deaf women can access beauty treatments. Sometimes we have different um, things like yoga and maybe in the future we may have something like self-defence. It's up to you, the deaf people make the decisions, you decide what you want and I will organise it. The, the other things that we have is on a Friday morning from 10 till 12 we have what's called a drop-in session so any deaf people and also some hearing parents can come along and um, we've got a social room downstairs where you can have a tea and coffee and meet other people and have a chat also upstairs we've got a private room so if you want to have a confidential conversation uh, letters can be translated if you don't understand them also um, phone calls can be made regarding bills etc and if you feel stressed and you want to talk about something you want some advice we can give you that advice the third service that we provide is, is providing deaf awareness within the hearing community the Genie Project is responsible for going along to different services, say for example community services such as uh, the Children's Centre. They may have a child who's going along and they're, they're not able to get access. I will go along and have a chat with the hearing people in that organisation, give them some deaf awareness and information about how to book an interpreter. Sometimes I will go along myself and, and deal with it or if, um, say, parent comes along with me or a deaf adult comes along and says I haven't got access to this place I will go along with them and try and encourage the deaf people to explain about Deaf Aware Disability Discrimination Act. The deaf awareness I create resources such as leaflets and in the leaflets we've got how to finger spell, how to communicate with deaf people, also leaflets on the DDA and how to communicate with a person using lip reading how to use an interpreter and how to communicate with deaf blind people 
and those leaflets, deaf people can use them and give them to any hearing services that they want to get access to. Every three months we have a newsletter. If people want to receive the newsletter, please give me details, your name and address, and I will send you a copy. What are the aims of the Genie Project? Well, the aims of the Genie Project are to empower deaf people and learn about their rights so that they can progress. And I encourage hearing services and community services to accept responsibility for their provision and access. So how do people contact you? If you want to contact me at the Genie Project, you can either come along on a Friday morning at between 10 and 12 at the drop-in centre, or after the video is finished, you'll see the credits and the contact details will be shown there. Well, thank you, Claire, for explaining about the Genie Project. Oh, you're welcome. For more information, contact... Claire Johnson, development worker with deaf people. Trafford NCH Genie Project. Twenty one A Marsland Road, Sale Moor, M thirty three three HP. Minicom number O one six one. 969-3291 Fax 0161-973-4915 Mobile, but only for text messages 07921-491-777 Or you can email claire.johnson at nch dot org dot uk